So I recently heard that the last patch that they put out actually fixed the water buffalo and the fact that the mythicals will no longer make diamond and we can finally get a potential diamond as a nine legendary. We have here a really nice mythical at about 360 and we're gonna see just how this works. All right, so 360, we'll hold for the top of the lung here. Yeah, right about there. That should have been a single lung. Now, you can't really expect to get double lung at 360. So if we get even a single lung, I'll be pretty happy with that. And you know how I really don't like Pumas on my map? Because the chance that they might actually take down a mule deer that we're looking for or a red deer. So we're just going to take down that Puma right there with a the 300 Magnum. And then let's go over there and go pick up. Well, hopefully. What was that big mythical? Okay, this is not good. Time to uh, quit messing around here and actually aim. That's actually not a bad size orange one there. That should have gone at least a single lung, but uh, maybe not. Yeah, it was single lung. Okay, good. So we must hit the other one pretty decent too because he kind of left us alone unless he decided to take off. But anyways, uh, I guess we'll just grab both these <laughs> side by side. We'll grab our Puma. Ended up with double lung at 316, but that was with the 300 Magnum. It was only a female, and that was actually a Sembray Hard Gold 151, and uh, somehow caught lung and liver. Now, one thing I noticed is there's not as much mass as they used to have. These horns used to have tons of mass, even the mythicals. They look like they were actually nine legendaries, but this mythical here, I mean, although it still looks big, it doesn't look like ridiculous big. A lot of times when they're running through the trees before, it just looked like a giant. So let's grab this guy and see. Well, that one's actually gonna score 151.8. He's a gold. Let's take a look at that shot though. 370 yards and we barely got some penetration there. Hit actually pretty much right where I wanted. Um, in reality, it seems like we hit far back on the lung, but because he was quartering so much, had we had more penetration, we probably would have got double lung and it would have came out the opposite side there. So really, we were in a pretty good spot for that water buffalo. But if you look at the horns here, this actually looks very similar to kind of like the OG style um, true horns. Well, actually not true horns, but the OG style horns before the true horns came out. So anyways, the mass on this is obviously way less than what it used to be. And I think they did a really good job. And it's so good to know that we can actually try and hunt for a diamond water buffalo this time and be able to get a diamond without getting gypped by a gold. So this is what the seven looks like. Very similar to the mythical, but just not quite as big. Although it's really not that different. He's about 180 out and let's see what this guy's gonna score. Probably like a 150, eh, maybe a little bit smaller, like a 154, but he's 181 out. So we're gonna go for, first off, I'm gonna switch that thing out to slot three because I keep the 300 in slot one, but we're gonna go for a 180 yard Perfect heart shot with the 300 Magnum. Yeah, I'm very glad that we can actually finally hunt the water buffalo again in peace and we can actually get decent sized water buffalo without knowing that they're all gonna be broken. And that ended up being, uh, well, somehow we caught double lung and heart. This looks very, very similar to the original nine legendary racks from, well, not the racks, but the nine legendary horns from, uh, I guess like the OG. That looks very similar to the OG water buffalo there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, I don't think we're gonna pass up this guy. I mean, I know we're not really looking for red deer again, but that's a huge tag out there, 240 yards out. Now he's quartering almost straight away from us, but I think we should be able to try and make a heart shot or at least be able to get a single or double lung. It had potential, but honestly, I don't know if we got the penetration. That's actually a decent water buffalo right there. Probably either a small seven or a six, but we'll take him down with the 300 Magnum. Once he lifts his head up there, that had a chance at heart, but didn't get it. Hopefully we got enough for a single lung at least. I know it's not a giant, but it's still another decent stag out there at about 330. And since we have to go over there to get our big stag anyways, we might as well try and take this one down with them one. All right, what did I say, 340? 
I mean, if you want to talk about dead center, I really don't think he could have centered it any more perfectly than that. 344 yard right lung on that stag, a 172. I thought that that was a six and it ended up being a mythical. We went for heart, but we hit right behind it at 239 yards out. But a 151 mythical is not a bad water buffalo. Yeah, that would have hit heart. That definitely would have hit heart. I had a feeling we didn't get enough penetration and I was right. I mean, honestly, we placed it right exactly where I wanted it to, but just didn't quite get enough penetration. Still an awesome stag though, 195 and a sweet rack on that as well. Wow. That guy there is going to be a pretty good test. You can see the horns are actually a bit smaller than what they used to be. We'll take out the 300 Magnum. And that should take down that buffalo no problem at all. Nice. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we can actually get a diamond water buffalo at this point. Before, for the longest time, if you took down a 9 legendary, it was only going to be a gold. You actually had a better chance of getting a diamond with a mythical than a legendary. And that was just not right. When they first came out with the true rack water buffalo, they had just tons of mass. I mean, the mythicals look... Well, they look bigger than the legendary sometimes. But this one's going to score 161.8. And to make diamond... They only need to get 167.5, so you can see that if we get one a little bit bigger, it could possibly make diamond. But ended up with a nice left lung at 228 yards with the 300 Magnum. Well, just jumped up this one here, and I don't exactly know what it is, but I don't want to lose the track from the one that we're on right now. So we'll just get on this one, get ready, and hopefully he turns eventually and gives us a decent shot, which should happen here any second now. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> I mean, tucked it right behind that tree and went for a nice double lung. And we should have at least gotten a single lung. And he just piled out. Oh, wait. He didn't pile over. He was about to. I mean, I still think... Yeah, he's down. Okay, we still got a single lung. But, uh oh Well, this could get interesting really fast because we're about to pick up our water buffalo. And we have a whole massive herd coming out here including a couple mule deer. Oh, they're all going that way, actually. Uh, it's a decent muley buck. I think we're just gonna take it with a 300 Magnum because why not? I should take them down. Uh, so we'll grab our water buffalo here real quick. It was only like a small four or three anyways. So the most important thing is we'll take them out of the herd and hopefully something bigger comes back. Uh, that was a 150. Ended up getting a right or a left lung at 211 on him. He scored 150.9. That was actually a seven. So the one side looked like a mythical. The other side looked a little bit smaller. Oh, okay. I see. And we'll grab our muley buck here. And uh, that was actually a three. So... Yeah, no big deal. We'll take him down and put him, I don't know, somewhere. Well, now that's kind of a giant rare albino water buffalo out there. He's about 200 out, but I honestly don't know if he's going to come back. I kind of jumped him up here. He was over there drinking, but I didn't see him. And according to, I don't know, the wind or something, he uh, bolted. I was watching these bucks over here, and he must have been like tucked in behind that tree. But hopefully he comes back this way. If not... I don't know, we're going to have to uh, try and get a plan going here. Uh oh! Oh no! Okay, so... Oh, that was not cool. I'm trying to get this big guy with the bow because the 300 at this point is not going to do... Okay. Just decided to bolt on me. There he is, there he is! Got eyes on him. Okay, he's out there running at 113. <laughs> and he should be smoked. Got a decent head into him, but we're definitely going to put a follow-up into him if I can get a chance. Maybe not so much. Okay, well, all we need is another good hit. I mean, if we didn't hit shoulder, it should have been a single lung. Not that I really wanted to take a trotting away shot like that, but at this point... I'm not going to pass it up. It does look like it connected. He's down. Let's go find him. Well, that guy seems like he wants some attention too. I'm trying to find the spot where we hit that buffalo, but we're probably getting attacked by this thing. And maybe this one too. 
where did this thing come from? And that was an embarrassing shot as well, but... Oh, hopefully we'll take that one down and we can make up for it this time. Hopefully this is just a big mythical. Oh, that should have been vital. If not, we might have just messed up. Okay, I don't... Oh my god! Oh, that was not cool. Good. It was a vital hit. Because he went down. I want to find out what it was. Okay, good. It was only a 7. Ended up getting a gold 150 out of that. Because we got liver, double lung, intestine. Okay. Um, but this one... Has a perfect brain shot. A 6. Now I gotta find where we hit that... Albino. The thing is, it seems like the tracks are disappearing. And that could be a little bit of a concern. I definitely saw him running this way. And there he is right there. Wow, he actually ended up in a pretty sweet spot. I'm not going to lie. Check this out. A monster albino right on the edge of this little water hole down here. Or uh, I guess lake, it's not Africa, but I think we might be able to get a pretty cool picture. Yeah, that's going to work out pretty nicely right there. And let's pick him up. That's going to be a 150 gold albino water buffalo that has some awesome horns on it. And I am really glad to get this thing mounted. <laughs> you want to see how long we tracked him for? 1.12 miles. So let's uh, definitely get this mounted. Yeah. But we hit, that's what I thought. I was holding for the front shoulder, but he was trotting pretty fast. We actually hit a little far back, but still caught the uh, top right corner of the left lung there at 112 yards out. And I am glad to have this guy. So if you want to know where we just got that huge albino water buffalo, we're on the far east side of the map at the Junto Alaco. There's a lodge right here. And just to the south, there's a little kind of like mouth that comes in here, kind of like a little bayou. And the zone that we got that buffalo at was right here from 10 o'clock until 1300. But yeah, that's going to be him right there. And I am so happy to have this incredible rare in our trophy lodge. So that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.